If you're a homeowner in Arizona, you might be familiar with something called a rattlesnake fence, or snake proofing, which is a series of modifications made to your existing fence and gates that prevent rattlesnakes from coming in. You may already have it, or it might have come with the house, or you're thinking about getting your property snake proofed, but how do you know it's actually going to work? Or if you have a snake fence already, if it's any good. From our experience capturing thousands of rattlesnakes in yards, we've noticed something that might be putting the safety of your family and pets at risk. Many snake proofing jobs are done using a half inch size mesh. That's pretty small, but guess what's small? A baby rattlesnake. Baby rattlesnakes can crawl right through half inch mesh. It offers no protection at all. And how do we know? Over the years, our snake relocation team has removed literally hundreds of baby rattlesnakes from properties that have been protected by half inch size mesh. And we have a baby rattlesnake. This little lady is about a month old. She's one of the smallest species of rattlesnake that live in the Phoenix area, but we do find her in yards occasionally. We have some of the half inch mesh that we removed from one of the snake proofing job sites and have constructed a couple of simple enclosures. One using the half inch mesh, another using the better standard of one quarter inch. Let's gently place the little rattlesnake into the half inch mesh enclosure and see if she can get out. It takes her a minute, but she crawls right out through the half inch mesh without any problem at all. Let's try it again, back into the half inch mesh enclosure. It takes her about 15 seconds, but once again she cruises right through the half inch mesh. Now let's try the smaller gauge, the quarter inch mesh enclosure. And let's speed it up, since no matter how long she's in there, she's not going to be able to get out. She could be in there all day. And just for fun, I'm going to put her back into the half inch mesh enclosure. So imagine that this is the stuff that's protecting your bare feet or your dog's nose or visiting family from running into one of these little guys in your backyards. It's a favorite of handymen and do-it-yourselfers and pest control companies that really don't have any experience with actual living rattlesnakes. It's even a requirement in the CCNRs for some homeowner associations, which is pretty surprising because of the obvious liability involved with preventing you from protecting your family. The only way to truly protect your yard from snakes of all ages is to use a quarter inch mesh. This leaves no opening smaller than any newborn rattlesnake. Here's a really easy way to test to see if you're really protected. Use a normal sized regular ballpoint pen and try to put it through some of the mesh. If it goes through, then you have the half inch size and you are not protected from baby rattlesnakes coming into your yard. If it can't get through or it gets stuck, then you're using the right size quarter inch mesh. But yeah, if it goes right through, get rid of that stuff. For more information about how to truly protect your home from rattlesnakes, visit rattlesnakesolutions.com slash snakeproof.